well it's time to get back to YouTube and I'm gonna tell you why let's get it on okay so as you know I've been on YouTube for a number of years now on this particular channel I have one other channel from the early days of YouTube and I think it was around 2006 or 2007 I started that channel I'm not going to say what it is because uh, quite frankly at the time I thought it was going to be a great thing but then I somehow decided that YouTube wasn't going to take off and I just forgot all about it I still have about 330 subscribers on that channel but I haven't put content in there for about 15 years anyway what I'm going to talk about is why I'm coming back on YouTube and I'm going to post regular content because my job sucks and they cut my hours in half I can't afford to live off that uh, what they're going to be paying me and in the likelihood that the job is no longer there next year which I'm beginning to feel that it won't be I need to have another source of income so YouTube may be that source what am I going to talk about everything from life to death to everything in between art watch making book reading etc i don't know i have no idea i'm just going to play it by ear and just see where we go with this it's never too late to start a youtube channel it's always a good thing to have if nothing else you can just have your own personal record kept online for free forever of your own life your family's life or things that you do uh, or things that you experience and they may be helpful to other people i know that over the years i have found numerous channels that have come across my feed which have helped me enormously with certain things like Amazon K uh, KDP or sorry Kindle is it Amazon KDP or Kindle uh, desktop publishing anyway making your own books and having them published on Amazon which I did last year I have seven books published on Amazon uh, which were in use at the university I work at this last three semesters and they've proven to be very successful and I will be improving on those books this year that's if I still have a job to go to so I learned a lot about uh, desktop publishing on Amazon and selling on Amazon I didn't make as much money as I would have done selling directly like I did in the early days but I still made some money and just basically how not to really give a crap about whether your videos are like top content or whatever. You know, we're not all Casey Neistat or what's his name? Mr. Banish, Mr. B, Mr. Bumble. No. Um, whoever the top YouTuber is at the moment or whatever it has been. His name will come to me after I turn the camera off, I'm sure. Um... Anyway, if you know who I mean, just put it in the comments because I can't, for the life of me, remember right now. But that guy has millions and millions of subscribers, billions of views, and just makes a ton of money out of YouTube. Like, literally hundreds of thousands of dollars every single day. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. That's it. Mr. Beast. Um, you know, he, he's a great YouTuber, if you like that kind of thing. Not everybody does. Uh, and it really doesn't matter what age you are whether you're 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 or even 90 or more it's never too late to start a youtube channel in fact the older you are the more you have to offer in terms of life experience that you can put out there and give to people like me or people younger than me as well and i hope that my life experience can help people and that's what i intend to do um i can't rely on the job system anymore and living in japan one downside to Japan, there are many downsides, as well as good things, obviously. Um, one of the downsides is ageism. This is a society that still believes that if you're a certain age, you have to be at a certain level in your life. It's absolutely nonsense to still think like that in this day and age. Um, salaries are not great here anyway. So it's really difficult to make money and save money to become rich i'm not looking to be rich i don't care about being rich if i have enough money in the bank to support my family for the coming years uh, without a job that's great that's that's all i need um and i'll be working towards that you know 
would it be great to have millions of dollars in the bank? Yeah, of course it would be fantastic. But what am I going to do with millions of dollars in rural Yamaguchi, Japan? Um, I would probably use the money to help other people, to be honest. It would be nice to have that content. And I've had so many ideas over the years, like making kids videos, making entertainment videos, making lessons of different things, like not just English or, or French or German or even Welsh, but just different things on how to do things. But they never come to fruition because something always gets in the way. And it's usually up here. It's, I, th I say it's life, but it's usually something else that gets in the way of everything. Procrastination. Procrastination is a killer for production and positiveness and positive production. So you shouldn't procrastinate anymore. I'm not really into the car scene that much these days. I still have the Z, which is uh, sitting right outside in the uh, car park right now. Had some problems with that car over the last year and a half cost me six grand to put it back on the road last year she's driving really well now touch wood that continues to be the case i may be selling her next year and shipping her off to australia because i get a lot more money by selling in australia than i would selling here in japan but again i'm not too sure i don't want to buy another car and if i was going to buy another vehicle i think it would definitely be a camper van so that i could go camping on my own and also camping with my family I say family, more likely just me and my boys because my wife's not into that kind of thing. Time as you get older seems to just evade. Just working, paying bills and raising kids. You never seem to have much time left at the end of the day to do the things that you enjoy. I've got numerous books that I still need to do. I've got paintings here that I started learning on YouTube just a few weeks ago. Let me show you, this is my moon picture right there. Uh, let me zoom in, that's my moon on water at night time and this rainy day picture of a rainy window the moon one again and i do have other ones downstairs where basically only like three or four weeks ago i learned to paint from following youtube videos so you can definitely absolutely learn a lot on youtube and i've got my little art setup down here as well let me show you this i've got uh, all my brushes which I've researched and looked on YouTube for different things. That was actually a hair colouring brush but I find it very useful for doing some kind of weird lines and stuff. I've got a bunch of paint brushes in here that I found on Amazon for a very good price. Uh, more paint brushes and paints in here, my uh, gesso, some bigger paint brushes and Harukun's old baby milk bottles being put to good use for uh, cleaning the brushes. I will definitely be putting out more content. Uh, it won't be car related. Some of it might be maybe from October when we have the next Aki Yoshidai Fair Lady Z meetup. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna to go to that. It always tends to get hot on that particular day. It's a long way to go just to go and look at Fair Lady Z cars. I've got my own Z right outside the window. I can look at it as much as I like. And what we do is just drive around. There's no coffees there's no stalls for food or anything there's a touristy area there but it's usually very pricey and very limited in the menu and obviously when we get there there's, there's several hundred people so it gets pretty crowded so i'm not sure if i'm going to go this year there's a million and one things i want to do just never seem to have enough time to do them so i'm going to try to be making time to do the things that i enjoy like i said not even knowing if i have a job to go back to um, or at least certainly not the job that i thought i was going back to and that may change if I try to get another job or be successful on YouTube. Who knows? I've been working on and off on YouTube for, well, basically since YouTube started back in the uh, mid-2000s. This time I need to stick with it. Anyway, that's all for me for now, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, Sorry this is a bit serious, a bit too boring, but stick around. There's going to be a lot more content coming, and I'll see you guys soon. Remember, do what you love or love what you do. I'll see you next time.